Yo guys, welcome back to Splash Monkey. Today I have a special video for you guys. So a couple of weeks ago, my wife mentioned to me her brother's birthday was coming up and how she was going to get a custom painting done of Attack on Titans. And I was just like, wait a second, aren't you going to let me do it? So after a while talking to her, I convinced her. I'm like, I got this, I can do it. So this is what this video is about guys. Today I'm going to be showing how I made this painting using oil painting and you're gonna see my whole process as well I'm gonna in between I might say a couple of words to explain what my procedure is when I paint and at the end you're gonna see his reaction to his gift so stay tuned to see how it's done thanks guys the canvas that I'll be using I got it from the store Michaels um, it's a story in that can be found in Canada. I'm not sure if in the US they have it as well. So the first step I decided to do was to put a layer of paint because the reason why is once you have a layer of paint it makes it easier to layer it after. Once my first layer of paint was dry, that's when I decided it was time to do the quick sketch of what I'm drawing. And I personally like to not focus too much on my sketches because I want to get straight to the painting. That's what I want to get to. So once I started painting, what I did was always go with the light colors. So you want to start light and then slowly, slowly progress into the shades and into the darker areas. You don't want to start putting dark colors first and then trying to put light colors after because it's harder. It um, it will be it's so much more difficult to go lighter, but it's always easier to go darker. You could go dark anytime you guys want. So I always recommend you guys start very light colors get the lightest shade first of your drawing or your painting and then proceed into getting the shades and then the dark areas so you have that dimensions
so because I did a quick sketch, um, my quick sketch came out actually a little bit crooked. Um, his face wasn't perfectly straight. So when I painted it, I knew that I ha that's what I was, that was something I was going to have to fix. However, um, I wasn't able to do it in my first try. And once I noticed it, as you can see in this spot right here, I actually went back and fixed it. So I had to remove the paint uh, using Varso. And Varso basically usually is the it's a paint thinner. And if you use it properly, you can remove the paint that's still wet. And that's what I did. I removed the paint from that area in order to fix his jaw that was kind of crooked and that way I could continue with the painting. I actually decided to keep this step just so you can guys see that I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes and it's just part of the procedure. You know, not everything's gonna come out perfect in your painting and you just gotta keep moving forward with it and learn to accept the obstacles that will come in your way while you're painting. And then just keep grinding. So this is the part where it became a custom painting. Uh, my wife wanted me to make instead of Aaron, she wanted me to draw her brother's face as a scalp. So at first, uh, I tried to draw as a quick sketch of how I could do it. However, my wife didn't want me to do it very cartoonish eyes. So in the end, I was using uh, a guidance of a photo of him, as well as um, a bit of my a sketch I had done before. And that's how I did um, the costume face. So I wanted the painting to look like a finished product. So I decided to paint the edges black. It would give it a, a more finished product. I personally didn't want to use oil paint because like I mentioned before, oil paint takes a while to dry. Um, it can take about sometimes a day or two to dry fully. 
so I was running out of time and I actually had to give it to him that same day that I was doing the edges. So I decided just to use acrylic black paint, which dries pretty quick. Within, I say no more than 20 minutes, it was fully dry, which was perfect, that's what I did. It's you. Oh my goodness! It's you. Yes, it's me, this is Why did he have my hair at the yeah. back? Yeah. 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 This is my nose, look, he has her nose. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, thank you, Paul. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. I will be doing more paintings in the future. So that way you guys can see more than just me using markers. I want to show you that I can paint as well and I'm going to be doing some really cool anime in the future. So please subscribe if you like what I'm doing. So see you next time guys. Peace.